here in the Persian district of Los Angeles, there's a lot of disappointment about what didn't happen yesterday in Tehran and a lot of frustration about the lack of information coming out of the country. Many Iranians were hoping to see a repeat of the anti-regime demonstrations that broke out on the streets of Tehran last June. Thank you. But instead, the lunch crowd at the Atari Persian Cafe in Los Angeles talked about what's next and what they think is preventing real change in Iran. Do you think that there will eventually be change? I think so. Why do you say that? Because I think most of the people are not happy there, so... Eventually, it will happen. Parveen Golafshan, with her daughter translating, says she believes change in Iran will only come when those upset with the regime can agree on an alternative. People that are still each that are in different camps, if they become all together, maybe they can overcome the problems. The owner of this bookstore was in Iran 30 years ago during the revolution. He spent 11 days in prison and then fled to the United States 27 years ago. Now he is a source of information for thousands of Iranians as to what is happening inside the country. Upstairs above the bookstore is where you find Bijan Khalili. He calls this Iran 411 people on computers and phones disseminating the latest information about Iran to the estimated 350,000-plus Persians living in Southern California. He says Thursday the government successfully shut down most communication. They blocked everything, all the uh, uh, emails, Twitter, Facebook, whatever they could, they uh, stopped it. Hundreds of Southern California Iranians did show up to a demonstration Thursday protesting the regime. There was so much excitement in June and, and there was a lot of excitement leading up to Thursday. Is it, is it disappointing that more wasn't done? Actually, I don't see this as a disappointment. I think it's going to continue. This is a long, long fight. You know, it's a long marathon. You have to, you know, this regime is done. Principally, they have to go. There is no, no doubt in your mind no. that eventually it's... We hope that they will be gone. The basic sentiment from people we've talked to is that, yes, there was an opportunity possibly lost on Thursday in Tehran. However, people do believe that the fire for change is still burning and that eventually change will come.